a little chilly, huh? Hey, a little bit of rain. Mm -hmm. Put the Corollas back, yeah. I fixed the ignition switch myself. We are back at my favorite spot, the car wash. Plus it's nighttime. I didn't want to annoy my neighbors because the curl is loud. Plus it's only 50 degrees. 50 degrees. So the car is going to be louder. It's just running right now and it's pretty loud. Anywho, today's video is on my navigation system that's in my car. I've had a lot of people on Instagram ask me, hey, you have Apple CarPlay in your car. How did you get it installed? How much does it cost? What are all the features on it? And is it a good buy? Is it a reliable buy? So I'm here to show you guys all of that, where I bought it from, how much it cost, where I got installed at, because I didn't install it myself, and the whole nine yards. All right, guys, so this is the boss. BVCP 9675A. This navigation system I got from eelectronics.com, but you can also buy it off of the Boss website. A little over $410 at the time. I got this around three years ago, and that was because I had paid for shipping and handling from the eelectronics website. If you get it from Boss uh, Audio, Audio Systems website, I believe it is $379 if I'm not mistaken right now. You'll probably still pay shipping and handling. So it's held its value pretty well. Um, Apple CarPlay is pretty popular. I actually got this navigation system professionally installed by Custom Car Toys. So custom with a K. If you guys are in the Greensboro, North Carolina area, I'll tag that information on the side somewhere. But pretty much they installed this. I had a, another navigation system in here prior, but it was outdated. It was very slow. It did have a CD player, but everything would glitch up and I just knew that it was time for me to get something more updated that I can constantly use um, from the years to come because Apple CarPlay updates with any Apple software that you have, so it's convenient. Um, when they did install this, I also bought some speakers from the electronics as well. In here, I think it's uh, some basic speakers. I, I really don't know the brand of it, but I'm gonna get some better ones because they're not as loud as I want them to. When they installed the speakers and the navigation system, they also um, had two cords here. This one is for Apple CarPlay, but I also have one that's tucked away in here for Android Auto. They uh, have two separate cords. You can also plug up your Android to this one as well, but the second one is for USB and it actually works better for the Android. And you guys would see if you uh, plug it in, you'll understand why. They also have a speaker that you can put anywhere in your vehicle. And this is for the actual Siri mode if you, or for your Android, um, the Google Assistant. And whenever you speak to the car directly, it picks it up on the speaker here. It's very clear, things like that. Granted, my vehicle has a lot loud exhaust. So sometimes if I'm on a highway, Siri might be a little confused. She might not hear exactly what I'm saying, but all I do is just speak up. And other than that, it's pretty good. You also have different options um, with this navigation system. I'm not using the full features of it just because my car itself doesn't have a lot of amenities such as the backup camera that you guys can see right here. I don't have a, a connection to it. I don't have backup camera in this vehicle at all. They also have um, some items where the navigation system can connect directly to the buttons on your wheel. Uh, this is a S model Corolla 07. It didn't come with all of those luxury features, so I wouldn't be able to use the full capability of this navigation system. But we'll just go over real quick uh, some of the features that this one does have, and then I'll actually physically go through the different apps and show you guys exactly what all comes in this system. So typical for any navigation system, you're gonna have your regular radio, 
gonna have media player as you guys can see on the screen android auto and apple carplay i don't have an android i have an iphone you also get no cd or dvd player with this model so if you guys are looking for a cd or a dvd player make sure that you guys go on the boss website and i'm pretty sure that you guys can find exactly what you need this uh, all on the website is about $379. Like I said earlier, I paid a little bit over $400 just because I got it uh, from a third party. So obviously you're going to pay a, a uh, higher premium. But still, it came in. It actually, I actually did not see it on the Boss website itself, but I got a bundle with my speakers. So that's why I went ahead and just pulled the trigger on that when I did get it. It also comes with the USB, like I showed you guys down there on the floor two cords that come with it both usb compatible also has rear camera like i said earlier front rear and sub amp outlets so if i were to ever get a sub i can definitely connect it to the back of the navigation system and just go from there it has connections pretty much to any and everything guys i promise you all right guys so we're about to dig into this uh, boss navigation system show you guys all the features that it does have let me cut the light off so it's not a glare all right so when this navigation system is first installed for you guys it will look exactly like this when you try to click on Apple CarPlay it doesn't work because you actually need to connect it to a cord your Bluetooth can work all you'd have to do is just go in and connect and pair it of course obviously it's connected to my phone and then it would go from there but I'm not going to connect it right now because I'm gonna show you guys there's more features with the actual cord so we're gonna go back out this square just brings you to the home. This is your microphone. When it's connected to Apple CarPlay, Siri automatically comes on. Plus and minus for your uh, speakers. You can also use the user interface to actually adjust um, the settings, the audio display, Bluetooth, radio, any settings you're looking for. Or you can just go back home. And obviously your mute button here. This is all touch screen. There are no actual buttons on this navigation system at all. Radio right here. Home. Got my presets right here. Stand, but I take a stand for what I can be. Must not be breathing the air that I breathe. You know that the way that I breathe, you can be. I've never been a fan of police, but my. I won't get demonetized. So you got your presets here, AM, FM, obviously. Go back to home, go back into it. Goes exactly to the station you're on. It's pretty simple. Hands-free, Bluetooth is ready. If you wanna pair your phone, initially you'll go to hands-free. It'll pop up as Boss Audio Systems in your phone. You'll connect it. And every time from there, once you go back to connect your phone to Bluetooth, you automatically just click this here. And you'll click paired, it'll connect, and it'll show you that it's connected. The only thing I don't personally like about this system is that you have to click this every time. It's not like typical navigations. As soon as you come into the vehicle, it automatically connects. But again, I don't use the Bluetooth like that unless I don't have my cord to my iPhone. So it really doesn't matter to me. It's a very simple, very basic system, guys. Very simple. Just showing you guys all the features it has. If you guys wanna adjust your um, e, uh, EQ settings, that's just for the sound, the tone, and things like that. Loudness, that's just more bass, less bass. It's weird when you have a bass um, adjuster right here, but it, it definitely does make a difference. Display settings, adjust all of this as well. And I'll show you guys what this does as well once I actually connect my phone to it. I just wanna show you the bass features. Bluetooth. Even when you auto connect, it for me, I don't know if it's just my system, it'll disconnect itself. I don't think it'll happen to everyone, but it does happen to me. Uh, yeah, and that's exactly what pops up on your phone when you do connect. All right, so I'm about to connect the cord right now so that you guys can see what happens. Once it's plugged in, the Apple CarPlay will illuminate itself. Your 
your phone will let you know that it's charging. Go on in and click it. I actually was listening to Pandora because I did not pay my Apple subscription, but I will. But anyways, typical cars, newer cars, um, they're all in competition and things like that now. So a lot of vehicles now have Apple CarPlay in them. It's just, it's becoming a standard norm as to where it wasn't before. If you guys noticed, sorry, let me fix that. Sorry, uh, it's really not, it's not good quality. Yeah, sorry it's not the clearest, guys. It's very hard to adjust. But anyways, when you plug your phone up and you click the Apple CarPlay button, it would automatically bring you to this home screen right here. As you guys can see, I have my phone, music, maps, messages. Um, this is a boss app right here for music, and this one is as well. A calendar and settings, right? It looks like your typical iPhone settings. But if you guys notice here, Pandora and Waze are apps that I've downloaded on my phone. and. If it's compatible with Apple CarPlay, it will work. So if, for example, Waze is not a app that typically comes on iPhones, if you click it, it's a actual navigation system that constantly updates itself like Google Maps. All right, there it goes, it was a little slow. It's typically pretty quick. As you guys can see, there's my location right there around with me you can adjust it get your exact location you know it's pretty good come out of it there's my home right there if I actually want to put my navigation set to it just click it yeah. yeah my home's right here things like that recenter it's pretty good. I like it. You can adjust it to night mode. I like um, the daytime mode all day because it's brighter for me. I wear glasses at night, so I need the bright light. And it doesn't affect me when I'm actually driving, so it's always good. Phone settings. Just like typical phone, you want to make a phone call, you can tell Siri, recent regular contacts, keypad, voicemail, and Siri will literally read your voicemails to you for the safety. It's uh, very convenient if you don't want to text. You can also tell Siri, just like your phone, just tell the navigation system what you, you want Siri to send and it will do it. We'll go back out of this, go to some other apps that you guys can see. Obviously messages. Um, music like some Apple my subscription is not um, active right now so I can't actually show you the music here it's pretty self-explanatory though go back out of this there we go there we go regular maps pretty good Pretty much like ways I prefer ways because it can detect cops and things but it, this is pretty good too destinations yeah it's pretty good I got my home and work set in here so automatically when I hit the road we go that's my old job I don't work five hours away <laughs> Else we're missing. I think we went through everything. Yeah, we went through everything. So what I also like about this system, guys, is if you guys can see those little tick marks right there, this is the circle that we're on. If you swipe all the way over, 
you can have your music on one side and your navigation on the other and it's real convenient as well this isn't the biggest screen if i actually back up zoom out you guys can see like compared to the vehicle itself but it's big enough for what i need it for so again it's a pretty good system nothing too hard anyone can can use this system it's very very simple i think the most trouble that you guys would have is if you guys start to adjust like the speaker settings um other than that i don't think it'd be an issue i would definitely recommend you guys do like get your camera connected and things like that i personally don't need it for this vehicle um and i don't care to have it but again for 400 dollars, i think it was worth it and the reason why it's a premium, like I said, it's Apple CarPlay. So you're paying for a name brand system on toy brand. It works for an 07 and definitely updates it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Not the real Will Smith on my YouTube as well as my Instagram. It's a 600 subscriber giveaway going on right now. All you guys have to do is subscribe. Go on my DMs on Instagram and screenshot that you're subscribed to me on YouTube. And that's it. You're automatically entered. All right. As usual, I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Wear your mask. And peace. Whoosh.